Number one. That was a great movie, Joe. Thanks for bringing me. Glad you enjoyed it. Uh oh, it's raining hard. You didn't bring an umbrella, did you? No. So much for walking to the restaurant. Isn't there a subway station two blocks away? Yes, but we'll get soaking wet in this rain. Let's call a cab. We may have to wait a while for them to send one in this weather. It's better than getting rained on. That's true. Question What will the couple do next? Number two. My tooth is killing me. When did you last see a dentist, honey? Maybe a few years ago. I never seem to have the time. And look where that's gotten you. Well, Dr. Prashad opens at 8 30, but she's always busy in the mornings, so you'd have to wait a while. Or you could take the afternoon off. I have an important meeting after lunch, so that's out. I'll just have to go to the office late this morning. Question What will the man probably do? Number three. I can't believe this heat wave. Over 35 degrees for 10 days straight. I think this must be a record. Global warming is really kicking in. I wouldn't go that far. The world's climate has always gone through cycles. This is no cycle. Scientists say it's pollution, and it's getting worse. They'll all be proven wrong in another hundred years. I hope you're right. Question What does the woman think? Number four. Peter, some of the parents at the kids' playgroup are talking about having another picnic. Sounds like fun. Let me know when you've decided on a date. Actually, we were wondering if you could organize it. That depends on when you have in mind. I'm away on business for a week this month. Either Saturday the 14th or the 21st. Hmm. The 14th should be okay. How does Fairfield Park sound? Perfect. The kids love the jungle gym there. Question What does the woman ask the man to do? Number five. We have so many things to throw away before we move. Let's have another yard sale. We only made a little money with the last one. The newspaper ad was expensive, and the sale took up so much time. Well, even a little extra cash would help. It's not worth it, considering all the other stuff we need to do before we move. Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's just give what we don't need to charity. Question. What do we learn about the woman? Number six. Hi, Peggy. What's the matter? I almost didn't make it to work today. My babysitter cancelled. Again? Gosh, she doesn't sound very reliable. She's not. But I haven't found a new sitter yet. I had to leave the baby with a friend. Hey, you know my sister Carol? She's great with kids, and she's looking for extra work. Shall I give you her number? Thanks. Let me just grab a pen and some paper. Question What does the man suggest to Peggy? Number seven. Ms. Hattori, have those textbooks we ordered arrived yet? No, they haven't. I called Mr. Abe, their sales rep, yesterday, 
and he says his records show that they were shipped last Friday. I see. Then could you please contact the delivery service and have them track the order? I did that right after I spoke with Mr. Abe. The delivery people said they'd check their records and get back to us ASAP. All right. Keep me informed. I really need those books. Question. What is the status of the order? Number eight. What happened to Ray? I haven't seen him for a while. He quit his teaching job and opened up a restaurant in San Francisco. You're kidding. What a switch. He's always been into teaching. I know. It was all so sudden that I didn't even get the chance to say goodbye. Question. What happened to Ray? Number nine. Hi, Charlene. How's life on the tenth floor? Have you settled into your new office yet? Getting there. I still have some boxes to unpack, though. Too bad they moved your project team. It was more convenient having you on the sixth floor with us. True, but the new space is much bigger and brighter. I know we have to meet with you guys regularly. But there are only a few floors between us. I guess it'll be good exercise if we use the stairs. Question What does the woman imply? Number 10. What's up, Rick? You look frustrated. I'm trying to put together my presentation for Friday's class. Right. You told me about that. Not going well? Not really. I don't have much experience giving presentations, and the topic the instructor assigned is pretty dull. He doesn't let you choose your own topic? After the first presentation, he does. I guess I'll just have to suffer through this one. Let me know if you want some help. Question. What is one problem the man has? Number 11. Ramesh, I'd like a word with you about the new file clerk. Do you mean Brent? He seems to work hard and he's friendly enough, isn't he? Well, that may be. But I heard he was fired from his last position. Were his references checked thoroughly? I assume so. It's standard procedure. Anyway, if his performance is adequate, let's leave well enough alone for now. We've got too much on our plates as is. I suppose you're right. Question What does the man imply? Number 12. I got some bad news about our car insurance. Is the company raising the fee? Yeah, to $200 a month. Wow. I knew we'd be penalized after my accident, but that's pretty steep. Yeah. I guess it will go back down eventually, but maybe we should consider switching companies. I doubt it's worth it. We'd probably pay the same or even more. I'd get rid of the car if I didn't need it for work. Question What will the couple probably do? A. Argan oil. Argan oil is often considered to be a wonder product, with cosmetics companies promoting its anti aging properties. It comes from the fruit of the argan tree, which grows in the dry landscape of Morocco and is also used in food and medicine. Harvesting the fruit and producing the oil is a long, labor intensive process, 
that has traditionally been done by local women. However, trading the oil is often done by local men, with women earning little or no income. NGOs have therefore helped establish workers' cooperatives that educate the women and help them trade and sell the oil in local markets. The cooperatives also help them negotiate with international customers. It is hoped that expanding production of argan oil will lift local women out of poverty and benefit the environment, as more trees will need to be planted to produce the oil. Questions Number 13. What is one thing we learn about the production of argan oil? Number 14. What have NGOs done for local women? B. The woman behind the Brooklyn Bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge in New York City is one of the great engineering achievements of the 19th century. It was designed by John Roebling, whose son, Washington, took over as the bridge's chief engineer after his father's death. It was built to connect the island of Manhattan with Brooklyn, nearly two kilometers away. While it was not the first suspension bridge, no other bridge of this kind had ever crossed such an enormous distance. Much of the bridge's construction was supervised by a woman, Emily Roebling. This was at a time when women were not allowed to vote. Emily was married to Washington, who became critically ill shortly after construction began. Emily delivered his daily instructions to the construction site and, over the next decade or so, became highly knowledgeable about bridge specifications and construction materials. She subsequently oversaw the successful completion of the project. Questions Number 15. What made the Brooklyn Bridge such an achievement at the time? Number 16. Why did Emily Roebling become involved in the bridge's construction? C. Space Rocks. One day, a Norwegian man called John Larsen noticed a tiny, shiny object on an outdoor table. Because it looked so unusual, he thought it might be a micrometeorite, a small piece of rock from space. After finding more, he asked scientists to analyze them. At the time, most micrometeorites had been found in remote areas such as Antarctica, so many scientists were doubtful about his discovery. One, however, took Larson seriously. Together they proved that these micrometeorites are always falling to Earth, and further research has shown that micrometeorites can be found all over the planet. Larson's discovery is significant because micrometeorites can help us understand how our solar system was formed. Because of their great age, they provide hints about what materials were common when the sun was young. Larson has shown that it is not always experts who help scientists learn new things about our universe. Questions Number 17. What is one thing we learn about micrometeorites? Number 18. Why is John Larson's discovery important?
D. Vincenzo Perugia and the Mona Lisa. One day in 1911, an Italian man named Vincenzo Perugia entered the Louvre Museum in Paris and stole the Mona Lisa, a painting by the Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci. Later, Perugia tried to sell the painting to an art dealer in Italy, but the dealer reported him to the police. When Perugia was arrested, he claimed he wanted to return the painting to its native country. Perugia mistakenly believed the Mona Lisa had once been stolen from Italy. While police were searching for the Mona Lisa, newspapers around the world reported the incident. It was the first time an art piece had received such worldwide media attention. Although it was a well-known painting before being stolen, many people believe it would not be as famous today had it not been for Perugia. Questions Number 19. Why did Vincenzo Perugia say he took the Mona Lisa? Number 20. What do some people now believe about the theft? E. Helping farmers. Modern farmers struggle with long working hours and often live in isolated areas. Though these problems are not unique to farming, it can be more difficult for farmers to take time off. Livestock and crops require daily attention, and even simple things like forgetting to close a gate can quickly lead to expensive losses. With so many serious issues to consider, simply asking a friend or neighbor to take over for a week or two is not usually possible. This is where professional farm sitters can help. With extensive experience and knowledge, professional farm sitters can look after an entire operation. They can also enjoy the farming experience without having to own a farm. One big challenge, though, is that every farm operates differently. There are also difficult circumstances, like poor weather or disease outbreaks, that can be hard to handle. That is why good, experienced farm sitters are in high demand. Questions Number 21 What is one thing the speaker says about farming? Number 22 what is one problem that farm sitters face? F. Smart streetlights. Several cities in the United States are installing smart streetlights, equipped with sensors and cameras that collect data on pedestrian traffic, automobile traffic, and air quality. This information is shared with smartphone applications so that people can track parking availability, traffic conditions and air pollution. Companies are also developing streetlights that will be able to communicate with traffic signals to help police, firefighters and ambulances reach their destinations faster. Critics, however, worry that the gathering and sharing of all this data will put people's privacy at risk. They also argue that the costly technology is not a good use of limited city funds. In response, the developers say details like license plate numbers and people's faces will be deleted before the data is shared. They also say the streetlights will lower electricity use and, since they can be remotely controlled, will reduce maintenance costs as well.
Questions. Number 23. What is one thing companies hope smart streetlights will do? Number 24. What is one concern that critics have? G. You have 10 seconds to read the situation and question number 25. This is John Goddard from the Languages Department of Larkspur University. I'm calling about scheduling a second interview for the Japanese language instructor position. We have your resume and recent publications on file, but we're still waiting for a letter of recommendation from your former employer. Could you ask them about that? When you get it, please email it to us. Once we have that, We can set up a time for your second interview. If you're offered the position and you don't have resident status in Canada, we'll need copies of your passport and your work permit too. Now mark your answer on your answer sheet. H. You have 10 seconds to read the situation and question number 26. Superbuzz guarantees our prices are the best in store and online. Shop from Monday to Wednesday for big discounts on all computers and software. On Thursday and Friday, we're offering special discounts on computer accessories like scanners and printers. Over the weekend, save big on entertainment electronics like surround sound speakers and high resolution TVs. Also, be sure to check our advertisements in your local newspaper or our website for coupons with discounts on heaters, air conditioners, and vacuum cleaners. You can also download our smartphone application for huge savings this week on home entertainment systems. Now, mark your answer on your answer sheet. I. You have 10 seconds to read the situation and question number 27. Hi, honey. I just heard the forecast. They're predicting heavy snow and wind tonight. Your car's tires aren't suitable for that kind of weather. We should have put snow tires on last weekend. I called our usual shop and they're busy, but said they can put on new tires tomorrow. I know canceling the conference isn't an option since you're the main presenter, so please take my four wheel drive. I can manage without it while you're away. We should also eventually buy chains, since winter will just get worse from here. Take care. Now mark your answer on your answer sheet. J. You have 10 seconds to read the situation. And question number 28. I've been working on the timeline for establishing the Japan branch office. It needs to be up and running by April. It's October now, so moving there by the start of the year would be best, which means passing your current clients to co workers. 
so you can start building connections in Japan. However, that would leave us with nobody in your position here. That being the case, your priority right now should be selecting and training your replacement. Client introductions with your replacement will help ease him or her into taking over. Now mark your answer on your answer sheet. K. You have 10 seconds to read the situation and question number 29. Good morning. Here's your ID badge and parking permit. Your boss, Ms. Rodriguez, is away on business and won't be available until tomorrow. So you can give me the paperwork we asked you to fill out last week. If you have any questions about those forms, I can help with anything regarding your contract or health insurance. You can ask Stephanie in accounting about anything related to pay tax deductions, and so on. I need everything before you leave today, so prioritize that. After that, Julia can answer any questions about your office, but it should be ready for you. Now mark your answer on your answer sheet.